Hi, so in this episode we're going to be looking at uh, energy, we're going to be looking at work, the units of energy and work, but focusing mostly on energy stores and energy transfers. So let's get started by looking at the definition of energy. And energy is the ability to do work, which means that we really need to know what work is. And in its simplest form, work is done when energy is transferred from one form or store into another store. And because of the definitions of those two, referring to each other in those definitions, they both have the same unit. They both have the unit of the joule. Now there are lots of different types of stores uh, of energy and uh, here is uh, a list of them for your reference and uh, it's important that you're able to memorise these and refer to them. Um, so there are a few of them, um, we're going to be looking at them uh, individually, um, but to help you memorise them what we can do is remove all the words there leaving the first letter of each. And once we've done that, we can rearrange those letters into maybe a helpful mnemonic. So uh, the one that I've done here um, is CK Get Men. Uh, but it's up to you to try and remember all of those different types of energy stores. So let's get started with having a look at them individually. So chemical energy store, well quite simply, anything with chemicals in it involves chemical energy store. And that's the energy stored in the bonds. So chemicals, uh, food... Um, all the fossil fuels or any type of fuel have a uh, chemical energy store in them. Um, there are chemicals inside batteries and when we burn wood we release, we release chemical energy store. Kinetic energy store. Well, kinetic energy store is quite simply anything in motion has kinetic energy store. So run, if you're running, cycling, uh, in a car or even falling out of a perfectly good aeroplane uh, you are, have a kinetic energy store. Gravitational potential energy store, well that's involved with an object's position above the earth. Uh, climbing a ladder uh, is an example of gravitational potential energy store, a roller coaster or even lifting something with a crane. Elastic potential energy store, well that's involved with anything that is being deformed, whether it's being uh, stretched or, or compressed. So a catapult, a spring, uh, a trampoline, or even a wind-up doll, although you could, uh, you could argue that uh, here um, Donald Trump does the winding up most of the time. Thermal energy store, uh, that's to do with the movement of the molecules inside an object. The more movements or the more vibrations of the molecules, the greater the thermal energy store. So really anything that is hot um, has thermal energy store. Although technically anything above absolute zero or minus 273 degrees Celsius uh, has thermal energy store. Uh, magnetic energy store, um, simply put, anything with magnets uh, has a magnetic, res uh, magnetic uh, energy store. Uh, you've got the maglev, uh, magnetic resonance imaging, and um, electromagnets at uh, a junkyard, all to do with magnets, all have a magnetic energy store. Uh, electrostatic energy store, well, anything to do with charged particles have something to do with uh, electrostatic energy store. So rubbing a balloon on your hair and sticking it to the wall at parties, if you do that. Um, electrostatic paint sprayers, and even um, if you've ever seen someone use a Van de Graaff generator uh, like this, that's electrostatic energy store. And the last energy store is nuclear energy which is the energy that's stored in the nucleus and there are two different types of uh, nuclear energy there's nuclear fusion which the sun uses there's nuclear fission which we use to generate electricity and unfortunately we've used both to produce weapons of mass destruction for nuclear bombs so looking now at the transfers of energy there are only a handful of these um, and they're listed here we're going to be looking at those individually as, as well. But if we do the same thing and remove all of the words, leaving the first letter of, of each, 
We can rearrange those for to produce a, 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 another mnemonic, so Mr. He. And if we if we have a look at those two mnemonics that we put together, CK Getmen for the stores and Mr. He for the transfers, um, you can see there's a bit of a, 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 a male orientated uh, designer issue going on. CK Getmen, Mr. He, which could be a way of helping you to memorise the first letter of each of them. But remember, you have to then remember each of the stores and transfers your cells. So let's have a look at um, all the different uh, energy transfers individually. So the first one is mechanical energy transfer and the simplest way of thinking this, if there is a force involved then there is energy being transferred mechanically. So for example a golf ball hitting, being hit by a golf club, there is a force uh, being exerted by the club on the ball. So energy is being transferred mechanically. Um, lifting a weight, there is a force being exerted, so um, there is going to be mechanical energy transfer. Even when you are um, you, you are on, a, on a bicycle and you're cycling, your muscles are doing some work exerting forces, or car engine is exerting forces, doing work mechanically. Um, next one's radiation energy transfer. Well, that's to do with waves transferring energy, and there are two different type, types of waves. So there's uh, electromagnetic waves, which include light, um, and sound waves. So any time you hear sound or light, that's uh, being that's transferring energy by radiation. Uh, heating energy transfer is down to uh, a temperature difference between two. Um, objects. So for instance a, a cup of tea or coffee, um, well that means that the cup of tea or coffee is hotter than the surroundings so there'll be a, a heating transfer of energy from the cup of coffee to the surroundings. Um, or in another situation ice cubes colder than the surroundings so there'll be a heating energy transfer from the surroundings to the ice cubes and they will melt. Um, but really, right now, you're doing some uh, heating transfer because you are warmer than the surroundings. You are transferring thermal energy to the surroundings because you are warmer than the surroundings. And the last one is electrical energy transfer. So electrical energy transfer is to do when there's a power source and a complete circuit and delocalized or, or free electrons, as you may have uh, heard them being called. Uh, are moving around the circuit transferring electrical energy that way. So I hope you found that useful. Um, subscribe to the channel and hopefully you'll get um, more ideas about how to improve your physics and hopefully your grades. Thank you.